Hi, Mister. Hi, Mister Javier. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. What's up? I'm fine. Where are you? Where are you? Relax. No. You're speaking, Javier. Nope. Ah, okay. How are you? All good? Give me one second, mister, please. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Hi, Jolie. Hello, hello. Hi, Jolie. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Hello, Ready Javier. Hi, Jolie. <laughs> hello. Javier. Are you on vacation, Javier? Yes, I am in vacation. Nice. San Carlos? No, no, in my house now. Yesterday, wow. come back to Hermosillo. Oh. Okay. Cool. And you will travel to another place? Mm, maybe Tucson the next week. Uh, okay. The next week? How many days? Oh, you have another week, right, of vacation? Mm hmm I back to to my work on August 21st. Nice. Otra vez today. Today Hello. is uh, work back to work. <laughs> How are Hi, you, guys. Alfredo? How are you? Good and you? Fine. I'm good. Great. Erika no iba a entrar. Why not? <laughs> maybe maybe on on Wednesday and Thursday I can't. Why? What what will happen? More vacation. Yeah. More vacation for <laughs> Alfredo. Oh, another couple of days on vacation. Nice. Oh, vacation. Very good. Hi, Nayeli. Busy week. Yes. Too much work this week. This week and the yeah. next. The next one. Va a ser igual la próxima semana. Of work? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You want more vacation, Yoli? Yeah. The next week I will have a vacation. I and you, will, you will, I travel. will travel to Compass. Okay. One week, one week. Nice, Mister. We yes, we will have only one week to vacation on summer. We can have another one. Okay. You but when? That's the problem. When? Next week. Next week. <laughs> Please. <laughs> for Yoli, is convenient. Next week too. Yes. For Alfre <laughs> for Alfredo too. For Alfredo too, next week? No, this week, right, Alfredo? Yeah, but the, but doesn't matter. For me, no problem. <laughs> Hi, yes. Lupita. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon, guys. 
For Lupita, no problem to. I don't know. No. Maybe for next. Hablando, okay, perdí. <laughs> Lupita is happy. <laughs> Lupita, they want another week of vacation. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Um, let's talk about it. It's possible because we are in the in the program, you know, we can we can fix it. It's okay. Okay. So if it's good for the group, we can do it. Okay, doc. Oh this week. Next week, right? Ah, next Javier? week. Right, Javier? Next week? What are you thinking about? Yes. Javier? Next week. Next, this or next week? Next week. Next, next week. Next. Julie, Jolly, okay. next Jolie week. and I, uh, uh, I will uh, on vacation too. Next week. Lupita? Okay. Voy a tener que tomar vacaciones yo también. Mm -hmm. A ver. Mi modo. La recién. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to work. Present progressive as future, <laughs> right? Something really, really interesting, actually. If we think about present progressive, present progressive, um, you visualize present progressive with ING? Are you, you familiarized? ING with present progressive. Yes? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Good. So. Well, that is something important, right? We need to relate ING with progressive. But something that we need to understand is that progressive is going to be I'm do it with pink because it's better color. We are going to have present progressive or ING for obviously present, like now, right? That's when, that's the first option that we have, that we are gonna use it when we use, I am cleaning, I am working, I am studying, right? That will be number one. Number two, it's for future. We're gonna use ING for future too. And we're gonna use ING for adjectives. Do you remember adjectives? Mm -hmm. Yep. Adjectives to describe, right? Yeah. So, ing, it can be representing a verb that is happening right now, mm -hmm. a verb that is happening in the future is possible too, and also it can be representing description. So, it's not always, it's not always present in this moment. You know what I mean? It's not always like that. We need to have like open mind mm. for ING, okay? So this is what we did last week. We did present progressive, like I am cleaning. I am not cleaning, remember? Mm -hmm. Or the questions like, are you cleaning? Yes, I am cleaning. Are you cleaning? No, I am not cleaning. That was last week, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, today we're going to go with ING or present progressive, but it's going to be representing future. Okie dokie. So obviously we're going to have this combination, right? With future and then present because um, it's something that we did. Remember last Thursday that we did an exercise like this. Uh, example, she usually works in the morning. What was the connector to do a, contra a contradiction? But, but. But, right? But, and then this one is simple present. But then we can connect it with present progressive. Something like she usually works in the morning, but she is not working right now. She's not working right now because she is on vacation. She's in the store. Mm -hmm. Something like that, right? So that was the dynamic. 
Today is a little bit different. Today we have present progressive, but as future. Okay. Let's get to work then. Can you help me please, Mr. Alfredo? With number one. Grammar notes. Number one. Present progressive can be confused, confusing sometimes because it can also be used at future. Look at the example below. I am eating a burger tomorrow and at lunch. Okay, here it is, tomorrow at lunch. So this is what we are using as an expression, time expression, right? Is it tomorrow at lunch? So if you think about it, we have, what's the subject? I, I am. I, this is your subject, right? I. I. Mm -hmm. And then what's the verb? We have an eating. This is the verb. Right? And then we have a complement. In that case, it's going to be all this. This is the complement. Right? But in the complement, we are not. Sorry. We are not using now. What are we mm. using? Tomorrow tomorrow right so if you want to use it if you want to use simple present progressive for present well you're gonna use now in this moment right in the moment um right now and then this one is going to give you the present in the sentence Right? But now, if you want to use a, the exact conjugation, present progressive, but you want to use it for future, you need to change only the, uh, the time expression. The time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly the same, okay? I can say, I am eating a, I am eating a burger. with no time expression, I'm eating a burger. So in that case, it's like, in this moment, I am eating a burger, right? But if you say, I am eating a burger tonight, GHT, this one right here, it's sending you to the future. Okie dokie. All right, let's see. Can you help me Lupita with number two? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Yes. To change the meaning from present progressive to future, you just need to change the signal word. Look at the example. Mm -hmm. Example number one. Um, use, use as now. I am working on my project right now. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. This is some. I am working. No, es el mismo que estoy leyendo yo aquí, entonces. Lo leo de acá del. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm eating a burger tomorrow at lunch. Mm -hmm, this one. Yes. I'm eating a burger. Uh, a burger now. Now. So you see the difference. The only difference will be the time expression that you are using. Okay, Doc. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Javier, can you help me please? Use as now. Use as now and use as future. I am working on my project right now. Mm -hmm. I am working on my project tomorrow morning. I am tired right now. We understand completely? Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. So it's one of the easiest, remember that in future, in future, we're gonna have, 
One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have the wheel. We're gonna have the be going to. We're gonna have the perfect. We're gonna have the perfect. Progressive, okay. And a future perfect progressive and simple true in this case is present progressive it's like an extra you know mm -hmm. the one that we are using it's it's present but represents future mm -hmm. okay so this one right here it's not considered it's not considered a, a conjugation tense okay remember Remember that we have 12, yeah? 13 with this one, right? But this one is not considered. It's an extra for future. Okay. And it's very simple because you only change the time expression. Okay. okay, it's, okay. it's only for the time expression. Exactly, yeah. So in your vocabulary, you have an extra form of speaking mm. in future right okay. and very easy mm -hmm. and very easy actually mm -hmm. okay Alrighty. so let's go with exercise number one can you help me jolly please exercise one complete the blanks to create questions with present continuous signal uh -huh. words present use now at the moment right now and nowadays Signal words present. This is future, I'm sorry. Okay, future. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, a date, next, and later. When we talk about a date, it can be uh, September 28th. Okay? okay, it's future. All right. Mm, Kidok, let's see. So what we're gonna do is just to analyze if it's present or future by the context. Can you help me, Mr. Javier, with number one and two, please? Don't turn the TV off. I am watching it, present. present. I'm, I'm having breakfast tomorrow morning, future. Simple, uh -huh. yeah, continue, Mr. Alfredo, three and four. Uh, she isn't going to school. She's sick. It's a uh, future. And um, uh, she is. She is. I ah, know. Sorry. Present. Present because it's like right now she's sick, yeah, right? Right now. Mm -hmm. She isn't going to school. Mm -hmm. She's sick. Yeah. Sorry. And okay. she isn't going to school tomorrow. It's a uh, future. Future. Mm -hmm. It's very similar, only the time expression. Lupita, five and six, please. I am waiting for my taxi. I have an appointment, present. It's present. Six, Thomas isn't working next week. It's future. Future, right? Only the time expression. Nayeli, are you available? Puedes participar, Nayeli? Sí. Yep, number seven and eight, please. Mm. My parents are ordering food. They are starving. Uh -huh. Starving, First, this one right here. Sorry, Nayeli. Starving is very, very, very hungry. Both. I'm starving, okay? Starving. So what, what is it, present or future, Nayeli? Present. Present, yes. And number eight. My teacher is evaluate, evaluate on no, November 12th. 12th, exactly. Oh, uh, future. This is future, very good. Because it's a date. It's simple, right, Javier? Yeah? Right. It's sim simple to identify, right? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Javier, help me with nine and 10, please. Thank you, Nayeli. I am thinking about going to a concert, concert. 
is uh -huh. present. This is present. Kenya is typing an email. Typing. Typing. Typing an email. Is future. It's future? Hmm. No, 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 it's present. It's, it's, it's now. present. Mm -hmm. Because we don't have, mm -hmm. that's something new, right? If you don't have the time expression, it's happening right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Lupita, 11, 12, please. We are watching this horror movie present. Present. My friend is calling, is calling me tomorrow future. Future. Jolly, please. 13 and 14. Uh, we are not going to the meeting because of wedding. Is present. It's present. And my dog is having a surgery on the weekend. Is future. Future on the weekend. Alfredo, help me finish. 15 and 16, please. I am running. It's present. Present. Present, 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 present. It's uh, present too. No? It's, pre it's present too. There you go. Uh, so tell the me. number the, the number seven. They seven, are sir, yes. starving. What do you mean with starving? Starving. Starving is when you are very, very, very hungry. Okay. So if you want to say that you are very, very hungry, say, I'm starving. Okay. Like, it's like, it's like uh, when we said in Spanish that you can eat an elephant. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something so, like probably. that. It, it's an exaggeration of your hunger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And then, and the number 10 typing Kenya is typing an email. An email, uh-huh. Typing is um typing. Typing. Yeah. Okay. Writing. The yeah, same. writing by with the computer exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, Lupita, you are drinking. <laughs> Number two, Lupita, instructions. Exercise two, look at the picture shown by your professor and read the signal word given. Then make a positive or negative sentence using present progressive. Okay. Very good. So. Example, signal word tomorrow. I am going to the bank tomorrow. So this is open participation, open imagination, right? I am only going to give you the signal word. So whatever you will do in the future, okay? But we mm -hmm. progress it, okay. Let's see. Example, it says, look. Oh, this is not the example. It could be something like future. Hmm. Future. I am going to teach another topic later in a different class, for example. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I am going. Wait a second. No, no, no. I am teaching. Mm -hmm. I gave you the other one. I gave you the other future. You know, it's confusing. I'm teaching. I'm teaching another topic later in class. There you later, go. later is the, the future word. Exactly, this one, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we go in order. I'm going to start with Jolly. Is that all right, Jolly? Number two is for you. I am <coughs> traveling to Pumpas next week. Perfect, perfect. I am or am, whatever. I'm traveling to Kumpas next week. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So this is the connection, right? These two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the combo. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Marcus? It's more. It's more elegant that you use will, will to or will. Which one do you prefer, will or this one? No, this one. This one is it. This one is my favorite for for future. Is my favorite. It's, it's more easy. And, it's very easy, yeah. It's, it's very easy. I mean, yes, and miss, but depend on the depend of the context, no? Because I never, well, on the reports, uh -huh. we we never use it that ing. Why? Because it's more easy. We... Will I will we will? Mm. Maybe it's based maybe. on consideration, maybe. maybe based on consideration because hi Carlos. Big will uh -huh. is very uh -huh. easy. Uh -huh. Actually, will is very easy, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I think that this one is even more easy. Okay, but... teacher. O sea, este lo podemos usar siempre. Este o el will. O sea, eh, sí. estaba tratando de diferenciar en qué momento el will y en qué momento el, uh -huh. con el ING. Yes. El problema está de que si tú dices I will travel with no time, like I will travel tomorrow, for example, but you don't have the time, right? You know that will travel is future, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. maybe maybe it's not important when you will do it, mm -hmm. right? So, okay, I understand Lupita will travel. I understand that she will do something in the future. But if I say, I am traveling with no time expression, it's not future, it's present I progressive, think. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is present progressive. So if you say, I am traveling. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's the same level of future like will. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. ING is it's for uh for me, you know, in my concept, it's for the moment. Exactly. So this is why we need to open the possibilities for ING. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, it can be like uh like um what is the word? Uh, like a joker, you know? Yeah, like a Comodin, is it a word? Joker? Mm -hmm. For three different options, you know, for present, progressive, for future. Mm -hmm. And it can be also, look at this situation. I think I told you about this. The cleaning lady is my mom, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the verb in here? Is. is is and what is your subject? Cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning lady. Cleaning lady. Yeah, exactly. The cleaning lady. This, this is your subject. Very good. And this cleaning or this ing is not a verb. It's an adjective describing yeah. the lady. Mm -hmm. So one of the biggest problems. One of the biggest problems is that students identify or connect ING with present progressive in the moment. Mm. And when you are reading, you, you don't connect because you think that it's happening right now, but maybe it's doing the function of an adjective, right? Okay, good. Open Let's your mouth. Yeah, open your, open your, brain or whatever right <laughs> <laughs> how are you carlos good good All and good? you how are you i'm good, good. too thank you. thank you thank you you ready for today yes i'm ready perfect lupita in october what are you doing in october we are doing uh, the Halloween party in October. Yeah. So we are doing a Halloween party. 
in October. Make sense? Yeah. Ready, Javier? Yep. For four. We have tomorrow. This is easy. Mm. I am going to. I'm going to sat tomorrow. Yes. To sat uh -huh. tomorrow. Uh -huh. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> Good sentence. Good I'm going to Good sat tomorrow. <laughs> Nayeli, ready? <laughs> tonight. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> Sorry for you. Or maybe Carlos? We are young. We no, are no. Oh, that's a good song, Carlos. Una canción que no es a... Tuna, no. Yes, it's a good song. <laughs> we are young. But in, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Hmm? And this represents future too, right? What are you doing tonight? Is the same like, what will you do tonight? What will you do tonight? What are you doing tonight? Yeah. Yoli, maybe help me. Teacher. Yes, Nayeli. Hola, Leo. Yes, please. Oh, uh, I am going to visit my grandmother tonight mm -hmm. i'm going to visit my grandmother what's happening there guys the verb the, the verb, verb. Mm -hmm. mira nayeli es que esto está bien nayeli okay esto estás usando futuro con el going to no Estás usando futuro, eh, déjame decirte, estás usando este futuro y está correcto, right? It is correct. But for the objectives of the class, what we're going to do is to eliminate el going to, ¿ok? Y al verbo, Nayeli, you're going to put ing. And that's okay. it. Mm -hmm. And that is future too, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, tomorrow at lunch. Jolie, please. I am eating pizza tomorrow at lunch. Got it. Alfredo, ready? Next summer, mister. Next what are you doing next summer? summer? Um, I am go next summer. Mm. I am going to I am going to Chihuahua's Hill next, next summer. Chihuahua. 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 Next summer. My question, is this possible? Chihuahua. 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 Here. Yeah, no? why not? I don't know. Yeah, because the, the, the hill of Chihuahua. No, no, because it's it's a uh, an object that we have life. No life, exactly. So we cannot do that. The apostrophe s is only for life. Right? Mm -hmm. 
humans. Of so in that part case, of the body. What is it? Part of the body too. Oh, parts of the body. Yeah, that's possible. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it will have to be. I am going to the hill of Chihuahua, right? Yes, Alfredo. You remember that part? But we we need yeah, but... to eliminate going to, right? No, why? No, because you don't have another verb in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, I am going to go. That is going to. Okay. Right. In this case, it's he's taking going as a verb. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. But okay. Well. It's, Are you it's only the different the difference between the the last the last uh sentence the the yelly the yelly sentence aha uh -huh. the only difference is i'm going to go okay oh no this is this is not you right Nayeli is this one i yeah. am going to visit exactly okay i am mm -hmm. going to visit. I got it. Thank you. You got it. Okay. All right. Tomorrow morning, Carlos, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. With ING. I go, I go. Are you going tomorrow morning? Um, work, work. To work. To work. I am going tomorrow morning to work. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do the time for the end or the beginning. Okay. Let's say at the beginning. Tomorrow morning. Are you going to work? There you go, mister. Yes. Tomorrow morning, are you going to work? Or I'm going to work así, tomorrow morning, right? Así es lo correcto, entonces. Yes, sir. You got it. Oh. Next Christmas, Lupita, what are you doing next Christmas? <laughs> um, I am... Three days before the wedding. Aha, lo que dice Javier. Ah, no sé. Um, Nos vas a dar regalos a todos. Aha. Dólares. Please. Es, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Boyen, boyen. It will be mm. with a. Buying. Buying. The gifts. <coughs> the gifts. Next Christmas. Uh -huh. for, next, for next Christmas. Okay. I am buying the gifts for next Christmas. Yep. What do you see in this one? Be careful on this sentence, Lupita. Be careful, uh, with, be careful with this preposition. Um, ¿Qué dice ahí? Es Christmas para la siguiente. Por la siguiente. Estoy comprando, yo estoy comprando los regalos. Es como si estuvieran es, presente, ¿no? Es present. Sí, está, es presente solamente por este. Por el for. Uh -huh. Porque dice, estoy comprando los regalos para la siguiente Navidad. Mm. O sea, los estás comprando ahorita, right? Mm. Okay. So, if we do, I'm buying the gifts next Christmas. Mm -hmm. Ajá. That's Compré, future. Compraré los regalos. La siguiente Navidad. The same day, the 24th, maybe. I'm buying them. 
but it's possible that the no? It's yeah, possible, it's possible. It's present. It's possible okay. that it's it's happening right now. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Um, Alfredo, next weekend. Next what weekend. What are you doing next weekend? I am making a weekly report on the of the next on the next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and making the weekly we're taking vacation next week. Oh, we are. I wish I'm making the weekly report next week. There you go. Are we finished? Yeah, we're finished. Number 10. All right. We have an interesting listening. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's easy for you, but let's see. Javier, can you help me to read instructions, man, please? Exercise three. Listen to the question, the questions being asked. Uh, then you will have 10 seconds to write down the answer in the cor in corresponding number. Use the circle to check your answer. Very good, okay. So you're gonna listen to a question. You need to identify if the question is in simple present. For example, do you work? What is the answer? Do you work? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Are you working right now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, or no, I, I am. Or no, I'm not. Exactly. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Disparadores. Do you? Boom. Simple present. Is she cleaning? Progressive. Does she? Be careful, okay? Here we go. Okay. To, to any questions you need to answer, you have 10 seconds to answer, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wait a second. Ready? Yep. Okie doke. Listening program. Step number 10. Simple present and present progressive. Exercise 3. Instructions. Listen to the questions being asked. Then you will have 10 seconds to write down the answer in the corresponding number. Use the circle to check your answers. Number 1. Are you tired? Number two, do you live alone? Number three, what do you do before you go to sleep? Number four, are you eating right now? Number five, is your mom sleeping? Number six, are you driving right now? Number seven, does your best friend live with you? Number eight, does your father work? Number nine, are you nervous? Number 10, 
Is this exercise difficult? Number 11. What are you thinking? Number 12. Is your classmate paying attention? Number 13. Do you smoke? Number 14. Are you trying to understand? Number 15. What is your teacher doing? <laughs> Number 16. Are you working tomorrow morning? Number 17. Are you going to the movies next weekend? Number 18. How are you doing? It's the, it's the question, right? How are you doing? How are you doing? Number 19. Are you traveling tomorrow? Number 20. Do you like to practice your English? All right. How was it? Level of difficulty, 1 to 10. How was it, Javier? Um, difficult. Difficult. Yeah, I'm expecting to be difficult, Jolly. Number three, in the level three. Okay. Only I understand the number seven. Only you understand or only you did not understand? No, only I don't understand. Ah, okay. Okay, well, that's good. Let's listen to it, okay? It's faster now. Okay, mm -hmm. dokie. Mm -hmm. Only yeah. for you to check the questions, the answers. If you need time, tell me, stop. So you can write. Okay. okay. Here we go. Number one. Are you tired? Number two. Do you live alone? Number three. What do you do before you go to sleep? Number four. Are you eating right now? Number five. Is your mom sleeping? Number six, are you driving right now? Number seven, does your best friend live with you? Number eight, does your father work? Number nine, are you nervous? Number ten, is this exercise difficult? Number 11. What are you thinking? Number 12. Is your classmate paying attention? Number 13. Do you smoke? Number 14. Are you trying to understand? Number 15. What is your teacher doing? Number 16. Are you working tomorrow morning? Number 17. Are you going to the movies next weekend? 
Number 18. How are you doing? Number 19. Are you traveling tomorrow? Number 20. Do you like to practice your English? All right. Better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, Javier, you are number one. Jolie, number two. Alfredo, number three. Lupita, four. Nayeli, five. Carlos, six. Javier, seven. Jolie, eight. Alfredo, nine. Lupita, ten. Nayeli, eleven. Carlos, twelve. Right? Yes. 13 Javier, 14 Yoli, 15 Alfredo, 16 Lupita, 17 Nayeli, 18 Carlos, 19 Javier, and 20 Yoli. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, pónganse truchas, okay? Tienen segundos para responder. Okay. Okay, okay. Truchas, truchas. You can do it. You can totally do it. Are you tired? Yes. One more time. I... One, one more time. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, one more time. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Number one. Are you tired? Yes, I'm tired. Number two. Do you live alone? No, I don't. Number three, what do you do before you go to sleep? I'm taking a shower. Okay. Number four, are you eating right now? No, I am not. Number five, is your mom sleeping? No, she is not. Perfect. Good. Carlos. Number six. Are you driving right now? Yes, I am. No, I, I am. No. Okay. <laughs> Number seven. Does your best friend live with you? Yes, he does. Number eight. Does your father work? Yes, he do. Number Yes, he. He does. Yes, yes, he does. Perfect. Don't worry. Number nine. Are you nervous? Yes, I do. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Are yes. you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. am. Or, or yes, no, I am. I'm not, right? Just... Here we go again. Here we go again, Mr. Planeta, ¿qué, ¿qué tiene en el termo, güey? La verdad. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol. No, no. no. Hace rato que... Hace rato que... <laughs> Nine. Are you nervous? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. There you go. Number 10. Is this exercise difficult? No, it is not. Good. Nayeli, come on, you can do it. Number 11. What are you thinking? Mm. I am nothing. I am thinking nothing. Could be. Um, in class? I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, at least in class, Nayeli, come on. <laughs> Yeah, Carlos, next. Number 12. Is your classmate paying attention? I am as a man. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. But is your, is your classmate? Not you. Your classmate. Is your, is your classmate like Jolie or, or Alfredo oh, or Peter? Oh, yes. It could be yes. 
Yes. She or yes, he, I, right? Yes. Depending. Let's see. Mm -hmm. yes, she, he, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lupita in this case or Joe? Javier, I think. Number 13. Do you smoke? No, I don't. Good. Number 14. Are you trying to understand? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. Number 15. What is your teacher doing? He's uh, teaching now. Yes, yeah. very good. He's teaching now. Yeah. He is laughing now. Number I'm 16. Laughing now. <laughs> 16, Lupita, right? Yes. Are you working tomorrow morning? No, I am not. <laughs> Number 17. Good for you. Nay Nayeli, right? 17. Are you going to the movies next weekend? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Nice. Carlos. Number 18. How are you doing? Oh, it's easy, Carlos. Mm. How are you doing? Uh, in class. How you doing? How you doing? I'm in class. It's good. Yeah. I'm in class. I'm, ta I'm taking class. Yeah. Mm, Jolly? No, no. Javi. It, it's, it's possible I'm doing, doing an exam. I'm doing an exam. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next. 19. Number 19. Are you traveling tomorrow? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Number 20. Do you like to practice your English? Yes, I am. Yes, I don't know who was. Here, no. she's here. Yes, I do. Huh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Entonces, hemos llegado a una parte del curso donde... No sé si se dieron cuenta, pero ya subió un poquito el nivel, ¿no? En cuestión de, de gramática, ¿se fijan? Eh, estamos entrando al punto donde ya no va a ser exclusivo un tema, pues, sino donde ya es necesario prestar atención, ahora sí, demasiada atención a lo que nos están diciendo, porque antes nos manteníamos en un tema por una semana, entonces era fácil adivinar la respuesta, no sé si me explique. Y ahora es más espontáneo, pues. Tú ya no sabemos si nos va a preguntar en simple present o present progressive y a como vayamos avanzando, se van a ir agregando conjugaciones y esas conjugaciones las tenemos que ir agregando a nuestro a nuestro hablar. ¿Me explico? Entonces, es parte de que ahorita es cuando se empiezan a frustrar. Hacia la madre, sí, ya no estoy sí. entendiendo, ya no estoy entendiendo. Creo que se me fue la clase de las manos. No sé si les ha pasado o les va a pasar estas dos semanas. Pues. Es, es les, lo que les estoy diciendo es como una vacuna. Pues. Que no piensen que está en ustedes. Que no piensen que ustedes perdieron el hilo de la clase. ¿Sí? No es, no es ustedes. Es parte del proceso que están, están brincando un... Están brincando un, un topecito. ¿Se lo explico? Y ahí va a haber desbalance. Acá. Entonces, lo que les pido, que sigan confiando en ustedes hasta como lo han hecho en este momento. Es decir, la madre, voy bien al inglés. Por primera vez voy bien al inglés. Voy avanzando bien. ¿Se lo explico? Entonces, no, no quiero que empiecen las musarañas de su mente. Es decir, se me está yendo el curso a las manos porque ya no estoy entendiendo. Y va muy bien que ya todo. Y ahorita como que ya se me desbalanceó el maestro. Y ahí andan. Y va a pasar cinco veces más. Eso ya. Check your speak. Mister. Speak. Algo pasa con su micrófono o no sé. Por ahí está mejor. Hello, sí. okay. Casi se entendió todo, nomás al final se cortó. Perfecto. 
Ok. Entonces, pónganse esa vacuna ustedes mismos, ¿sale? Vamos bien. Y es obvio que va a haber estos de desfases de, ah, la madre, ya no puedo con esto. No, 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 vamos, en, vamos apenas iniciando lo, lo bueno. ¿Ok? All right. Let's continue then. Um, with the next exercise. All right. So we're going to practice another little topic, okay? It's a little topic important for the class of today. Uh, ING as a subject. ING as a subject. What is this? When you have the universal formula, what is the universal formula? Subject plus. Verb. Verb. Plus complement. Plus complement. There you go. So, right now we are going to practice some exercises that the subject right here is going to be with ing. Look at the example, all right? Playing soccer, that's my subject, is very fun yeah what am i saying playing soccer this is my this is my subject playing soccer is very fun so we understand that playing soccer playing is not a verb we understand that yes what is it? It's, it's an activity, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that activity is going to become a subject, right? Give me another example like that. For example, uh, studying English, what? Is In English, it's very important. Stressing. Important. Stressing. <laughs> Stressing. <laughs> It's very stressing. It is stressing. So if you analyze, we are going to be using INGs as subjects too. All right? Look at this example. Sightseeing is becoming my favorite hobby. Sightseeing is an action, it's an activity. Sightseeing is when you go on vacation and you walk on the streets, taking pictures, you know? Looking at the city, that's it. No shopping, no buying, just looking Science. at the city. Science. Pronunciation is sightseeing. 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 So in that case, I am selecting sightseeing as my subject. Sightseeing. It's becoming my verb. And then I have my favorite hobby, the complement, right? We understand that one? Yes. ¿Qué dice ahí? Sightseeing is the, it's the activity, no? Is the activity. Sightseeing. How do we say sightseeing in Spanish? Turistear. Dar la vuelta. Dar la vuelta. Ando turisteando, right? Sightseeing. That will be the word, maybe. And then it's in progressive. It's becoming my favorite hobby. What is that in Spanish? Sightseeing is becoming my favorite hobby. Se está volviendo mi, mi pasatiempo favorito. Se está volviendo. It's in the process, right? 
is becoming. Very good. How about what can you tell me? Uh, what can you tell me about the activity snowboarding? It's not a verb; it's a noun. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. As a subject, can be snowboarding. 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 Oh, I'm playing, plan, planning snowboarding. I'm planning snowboarding. I know sport. I know sport. Snowboard. I know sport. Snowboard. I am planning. I am planning. Snow it could be to practice the, snowboarding. Practice it's it good. Practice or to mm -hmm. practice to practice. To practice snowboarding. Snowboarding. On on next winter. On next winter. You got it. <clears throat> so this planning is future only because of this. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. Let's I like this form. What? <laughs> this form, the future. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I like it. Number three. Sparkling water. Sparkling water is like Peña Fiel, Topo Chico. Gas sparkling. Gaseosa. Yeah, sparkling. In agua mineral. It's a noun, okay? Give me a sentence as a subject. Sparkling water. I, I need is... I need a, a sparkling water, water for my sparkling. for my scotch. For my uh, for your scotch. Potion. Sparkling water, Jolie. You said something. <laughs> <I'm> Sorry. <laughs> Good. I need a sparkling water for my huh? scotch. Lemonade. Yeah. For my lemonade. I need okay. a for my lemonade. You have another idea, Jolie, as a subject? Mm. No. Apenas le iba a armar. All right. Okay. Okay. It could be sparkling water is affecting me. Affecting my health. My stomach. My stomach. Okay. So you see, it's in the subject. And then we have the verb with ing. Next. Surprising. It's an adjective. So you need to tell me surprising what? Surprising. I am surprised. Surprising news. I'm describing the news with surprising. Yeah. I'm surprising when I see my father. No, no, because we need to use yeah. it as an adjective. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, sure. Okay. It can be something like this, okay? I am suffering We understand that, right? I'm suffering Sorry. with the surprising news. No, I always say it. I'm surprised. Surprising. Surprising. 
I am suffering, suffering. What is? What do you say? Suffering. Yes. When you, when you, uh, when you suffer from, uh, imagine that your dog died, right? So you start crying. Oh, I'm suffering from my dog. I'm suffering. So free? No. Uh, I'm very. I'm a very bad actor. <laughs> is this is new? <laughs> Suffer. Mm -hmm. It's new word. Suffering. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Suffer. Don't suffer. Okay. Everything will be okay. Okay. So I'm suffering with the surprising news. Do we understand that? Estoy sufriendo con las. Estoy sufriendo con la nueva noticia. O mm -hmm. estoy, su... estoy sufriendo con. Noticias sorpresivas, así. Uh -huh. como, como si atropellaran a alguien y lo vas viendo, por acá de atropellar, ¿no? Como que. Hey, hey, Sufres y te can... sorprende. It can be, I am suffering, estoy sufriendo con las noticias sorprendentes, could be, right? Okay. So, this ing, and this is what I want you to understand, ing is not a verb. What is it doing? Is describing what? Suffering, I am suffering. No. The news. I'm suffering with a surprising news. The news are surprising, right? Okay. Well, maybe if, if you not talk well, mm -hmm. you put only, I am suffering with the news. That's all. Uh -huh. It's possible too, right? We are not saying anything about the news. It's like regular news. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. A lo que voy, que en este, yo sé que este tipo de ejercicios son difíciles porque son muchos los elementos, pero lo que no quiero es de que me den esto como un verbo, sino que sepan usarlo en otras opciones. Not only in verbs. That's easy. You know? I am surprising my brothers tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm surprising my brothers tomorrow morning. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. ING also. Pronunciation. String. 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 It's, you know, strings. String. It's only one string. This one. Only one. Only one. String. So it's a noun. Give me a sentence as a subject. In, in, in progressives, right? I am playing my guitar. I am playing a string, and a string, and a string of my guitar. Of my guitar. There you go. So string is not a verb. Very mm -hmm. good. That's what we want. Que sí. saquen el ING del verbo. Que lo mm -hmm. saquen. Que lo, yeah, all right. Es la cuerda. Sí. La cuerda, exactly. Yo estoy tocando una cuerda de mi guitarra. Very good. You okay, Lupita? Yes. Yes. Seven, six, I'm sorry. Boring, it's an adjective. Boring. I am, wa I am watching a movie, Boring. Uh -huh. I am watching. Oh, okay, this boring, is your bird. A boring movie. A, a boring, boring movie. movie. Boring movie. Yo pensé que ya se decía que estabas ya boring en las de. With the class. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never, right, Lupita, in Vegas? Never. No. <laughs> I'm watching a boring movie. Very good. All right. Warning. It's not a verb. It's a noun. <laughs> warning. Um, you are 
Ah, bueno, tiene que ser con el verbo con ING. Eh, Ajá, ya. Yeah. I am walking. Uh -huh. I am walking. In the, in the warning place. The in police. The, warning. the police give me a warning for my speed in the highway, for example. Okay. Oh yeah, but put it put it in ing. It's happening right now, or it will happen tomorrow. Okay. I am working in the Guarden area. Area. Okay. I like it. I am walking in the warning area. Yeah, that's it. The warning it's it's um describing the area. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like Alf uh, Javier said, I am what did you say? Uh, the police. Oh yeah, the police is give me seria giving giving me. Yeah. The police is giving me in this moment, right? Mm -hmm. It's giving me a warning. Good. Okay. Si al terminar el ejercicio saben que el ING no es solamente exclusivamente un verbo, ya ganamos. Porque lo vamos a... Ya, ya no salimos de esa caja, pues. Mm -hmm. Y salirnos de esa caja, wow, my gosh, man. ING is not only the verb. Good. We have a frying pan. Frying pan. It's a noun, so get, use it as a subject. I am cooking. I'm cooking a Andale. couple of eggs. Pan. Ese yep, I am cooking. A frying pan. A couple of eggs. You, somebody oh, said a couple of eggs. <laughs> In or on, depending mm -hmm. on the frying pan. There you go. ING is not a verb. Very good. Next. <laughs> ceiling. The ceiling. Remember, when you have a house, this part, the outside part, is the roof ceiling the roof right but the I'm inside fixing. yeah tell me tell me the inside is there is the ceiling Ceiling. alfredo i am fixing I'm fixing yeah i am fixing my ceiling house I am fixing my um, use use that of that see, of my there you go my bathroom ceiling house for example okay I am fixing like again the ceiling of my bathroom. You got it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Number 10. Ceiling. 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 The meaning. It's not yeah. a verb. The meaning. The significant. I try to you... find them. Tell me. Tell me. I am, I am trying to find a uh, the meaning word. Maybe the meaning of this word could be. Mm -hmm. The meaning of this word. Mm -hmm. I am trying to find. Verb. Find. Verb. None. Who's that meaning? Meaning, no verb. Yep. I'm trying to find intentando. 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 Mm -hmm. Intentando o tratando de. 
Mm -hmm. Try is the original verb, obviously. Mm -hmm. 11. Interesting. It's an adjective. Interesting. Interesting. I am, I am reading an interesting article. Uh, interest, interesting book. Interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. I'm reading an interesting book. I'm reading. Is this verb or no? Is that a verb? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm reading. <laughs> All right. Okay. And is this a verb? No. 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 Is describing what? Adjective. For the verb, for the book, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, it can, this word can be difficult for pronunciation. What we're going to do, we're going to separate it like this. Interesting. 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 Interesting book. Interesting. We eliminate this one, right? Okay. Interesting. Interesting book. Interesting. Interesting book. Mm, that's interesting. 12. Ready? Yes. Charming. It's an adjective. Charming. Um, Remember the popular toilet paper? paper? paper. Charming. Cha -cha mm -hmm. Charming. So it's mm -hmm. like that, right? Like you want to hug it, you know, it's mm -hmm. like soft can be nice to to hug you know charming it's possible to describe people you know my grandma is very charming very lovely mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um it's very it's I very com I like, it's um, common i like um come on Charming. Charming. Charming is visiting my house the next week. Yes, okay. One more time, you got it. My charming cousin. Yes. Cousin. <laughs> my charming cousin is visiting my house the next week. Very good sentence. The next week. Because it's in future, you are using ing as, a, as an adjective, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You are using the verb in ing and you are using it as future. Very good. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing. embarrassing, embarrassing. Eliminate that a, okay? It embarrassing. 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 embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. It's an adjective. It can be embarrassing moment, embarrassing person, embarrassing situation. Embarrassing, you know. Embarrassing. Well, this year I'm having. So Perfect. Having. Yes. I'm having. I'm, I'm having. having. Uh -huh. Embarrassing moment. Our N. 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 Mm -hmm. Embarrassing moment. Embarrassing moment with, moment. with my classmates. With my classmates, shut up. With my classmates. Es que o se la llevan haciendo me bullying y ay ay ay. Only when only when you are not here, okay? <laughs> are we finished? Y cuando no estoy más. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Deberían well, de hablar de Ale, de hecho. Only sí, until ya me di cuenta que es solo solo soy yo. Porque 
se te afigura que no hablan de Ale. Only, ah. only until September. <laughs> Why? Why until September? Because to until September, the Lupita is in Las Vegas. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you come back to Mexico, no more talking about you. <laughs> Fishing. It's not a verb. It's an activity. What can you tell me about fishing? Mm, es como hablar del, del pescado que ya, del pez que ya está pescado. Mm, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm fishing. I'm fishing. Es la actividad, yeah. la pesca. Like uh -huh. fishing, pero, right. pero en este caso no, pues. En este Pescar, caso no. exactly. Yeah, Lupita. Not in this case. It could be fishing. Or oh, you have an idea, guys? Alfredo dijo, I tra Alfredo. I'm travel fishing. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm fishing. trying. I'm trying. I'm trying fishing between. I'm trying fishing. Trying I'm trying fishing. Yeah, it's possible, man. Trying fishing. At, and lo, as long as you tell me what. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm trying fishing. I'm mm. trying fishing. Mm. I'm trying fishing. With... Fishing. Oh, it's a bit. Trying fishing between. I'm trying fishing. Fishing is an amazing activity. I'm trying fishing between. Between I read the book, but no, but I try. I try and fishing between. Between I am, between I am driving. Um, como es, como es, um, boat. Between I driving the boat. Ah, uh, okay. It will be sailing a boat. Um, sailing. sailing. I'm trying fishing. Okay, I understand your point. Meanwhile, maybe. Yeah, both, both of, at the same time. Okay, so it will be, I'm trying fishing. It can be while, or it can be meanwhile. Mientras tanto, right? Why right, not be between? Why between? Between is... Um, between be driving a boat. Okay, give it to me in Spanish. Your idea. Yo trato de pescar mientras manejo el bote, pues. Yeah, oh, okay. It's while. While or meanwhile. While I am driving. Because between. Between is entre. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, while I'm driving. Ah, sí, cierto. Cierto. That the triangle is between the circles like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying fishing while or meanwhile I sail. I am sailing. Or driving. I, I am or by driving is not possible for a boat. It's only for cars. Mm -hmm. So it's like oh, it will be sailing. Sailing a boat. So you drive a car, but you sail a boat. And that is the same. It's the same. Or you fly a plane, right? Mm. Okay. Say, this is the this is the verb. Nautical, you know? Mm. 
failed. Okay, the time is Oh, ready. this is new. This is new for me. That's new for, is new for you? Yeah. For me, too. Sailing we a boat. Change, changing room? It's a, it's a, well, it's an adjective for the room, right? Changing room. You can, oh. you can see them in the malls, right? In Walmart, changing room. Or it's the same of, of feeding room. room. It's the same. Yeah. Jolly is tasting uh, dress in feeding. the sailing room, for example. Tasting. Uh -huh. Tasting, no es probando. Ah. Tasting es solo cuando es la comida, ¿no? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, like in that case, it will be trying on. Trying on. Trying on. Probándose en ella, right? Trying uh -huh. on me. So, yeah, it can be Jolly is trying on. A yellow dress. Where? In the. In the changing room. Changing, changing, changing. Changing room. Perfect. And that's it. Changing room is not a verb. Mm -hmm. Trying, yes. <laughs> that's it. We finish for today. Okay. Ahí está. Eh, llévense las tranquilas, ok, las cosas. En serio. Ok. Ahí no vamos. Se, no, se, no se mal viajen, por favor. Es el peor <risa> enemigo del alumno. El peor enemigo de un alumno es que digas, ya no puedo, se me fue. ¿En qué momento me perdí? Right? No se han perdido, simplemente los temas están cambiando. Okay. Sale. Muy bien. Sí, sí, yo okay. tomorrow, guys. Sí, tomorrow. Sí, tomorrow. No, platiquen, platiquen los de la, las vacaciones ahí en el grupo por Nayeli, Carlos, Órale. faltan de. ¿Sale? Ok, ok, claro. Bye. Right, Happy day. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.